After 10 seasons, it all comes down to the final three episodes. How will the saga of Raymond Reddington come to an end? Will he be captured by those who are not on the special task force? The final story begins to play out tonight. Take a look. Early even for you, Raymond. Sorry to disturb you, Harold. I'm afraid I have something that just can't wait. I'll be there as soon as I can. This better be important. It's very important. How fast can you get here? Fast. I'm kind of already dressed, although I think I should probably change. It's okay. I'm awake. I'm studying algebra so I can help Agnes with her homework. Well, you'll have to put off your middle school studies for now, Harold. I need you to be here for this, all of you. Joining us now is Hishim Tafik, who plays Dembe on the show. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. It's an honor to join you. Well, thank you. Well, let's start by talking about your character's relationship with Raymond Reddington, played by James Spader. We've seen them turn on each other, but their friendship is enduring. So as we head through these last few episodes, what will we see when it comes to their bond? I think the bond, the bond has always been strong. Like any family members, you have your your, your arguments and, and, and laughs and disagreements and all of those things. But as we come to the finale, I will say that that relationship will continue to be tested. Um, the, the stakes are turned up even higher. But at the end of the day, I think we will see that, you know, the bond can't be broken. Um, and and uh, I'm excited about everybody else experiencing that. Okay, well, now at this point, you know how things end. And there's a two-hour finale coming up on July 13th. What can you tell fans without spoiling? Uh, the one thing I can tell fans is that, you know, usually we see the finale and we know that there's another season. So the, the finale, like, is a little step up for, for, for what's to come. But in this season, um, that won't happen. So you know that this finale, that's the end. There is no more. So the stakes are higher. I think it will be a little more emotional. Uh, uh, it will just have a, a much more lasting impact than uh, the previous finales. That was a very neutral way of explaining it. <laughs> For sure, you gave nothing away. <laughs> well, after 10 seasons. Yes, that's what the black was doing. <laughs> when it comes to something like this, after 10 seasons, um, and this it comes to an end, is it like saying goodbye to a family? Oh, absolutely. I've spent more time in the last 10 years with the cast and crew than I have with my, my own family. So. It's weird because it's so abrupt. You know, we, we end, we've been so used to having a hiatus, a three month break and coming back and just picking up where we left off. And now we know that that's not gonna happen. So um, the goodbyes were weird. Some people didn't say goodbye. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you know, it's it's all weird. I'm still adjusting and trying to get used to it, but it's it's very difficult. I can imagine. Well, people may not know this about you, but you are an accomplished stage actor, a former Marine, and a retired FDNY fireman, New York's finest, in my opinion. What's next for you? I would, I would love to continue going down this, this journey of, of telling stories and, and inspiring folks. I love, I love the art of storytelling. It, it excites me. Um, as you've mentioned, I've had an, a, a very interesting life um, that brought me to this point. And I think it would be interesting to see how that looks like in a book or on a screen or in a documentary film. So I look at I look forward to flushing flushing that out and seeing what it looks like. Okay, well we will be keeping our eyes open and looking for more from you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now you can see the final episodes of the Blacklist Thursday night at 8 p.m. right here on Local 4.